Next question. Dr. Peter McCullough stated that one cannot get COVID-19 twice. That is, cannot be reinfected. Can you elaborate and confirm? Thank you both very much. Um, can't confirm it. Can say... The, the question is this, and I know because I asked Peter myself. Mm -hmm. The kind of immunity generated by infection, that is to say natural immunity, is extremely broad and apparently very long-lived. And so uh, the game that we are playing with these current vaccines is a very different thing. And the proxy that we're using for how immune you are, which is whether you have a, an antibody response, is a terrible proxy, right? Mm -hmm. Because your antibodies actually ought to die away. And ideally what we want is uh, T cell based immunity, right? Which does not produce antibodies. Um, but anyway, so the, the question is this, you have a small number of cases in which people who have natural immunity appear to get COVID. Are those because their original case of COVID wasn't really COVID? Did they get a false positive with their original case? They've actually never had COVID and then they get COVID the first time and we say it's a reinfection. Mm -hmm. Is the second case of COVID a false positive? Is it a mixture of those? And if you got rid of all of the false positive indications on either first or second infection, would there be anybody left over who had a healthy immune system and had had two cases of COVID prior to Omicron? That's the question. Peter says no. He says there's no evidence for a case that does not look like a false positive of one sort or another in which somebody was reinfected, which would be a great thing to be able to say. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's important. Even if there are rare cases of reinfection, they are rare cases. That much is very clear. It would, at least it would be lovely if it were clean. Oh, it'd be I great. Mean, I think, I, I think it, could, it could become important at least as a, as a, political tool and I mean that in the best sense of the word if it yep. were if if it were if it were true and demonstrably so uh, that you really could not get reinfected um, and, you know including for instance omicron having had the original variant yeah um, that would that would be huge um, especially since there's a whole lot of people garbage arguing about like natural immunity not even being useful at all, which is, I mean, they're just making no sense at all. They're not responding to any of the abundant evidence out there. And so the cleaner, the clearer, the more absolute the actual evidence is, the better. Uh, but I don't expect, you know, biology being a complex system, I don't expect us to get something quite so clean. And yeah. especially given what you suggested about Omicron maybe being able to evade natural immunity from previous right. infections. I think there's an even better reason that clean would be important, mm -hmm. which is, you know, I do occasionally hear somebody say that natural immunity ain't all that, um, <clears throat> which is obviously a nonsense argument that doesn't stand up to evidence. Um, but what does get said, which I find totally diabolical, mm -hmm. is that what you really want is super immunity. And so if you've had COVID, you still need to get the vaccine. Well, isn't that amazing? No matter what the case is, you still need the vaccine, no matter how mm -hmm. safe you are by virtue of being young and healthy, no matter how immune you are by virtue of having had COVID, you still need the vaccine because that's the important thing is the vaccine. No right? matter how much emerging evidence on original antigenic sin there might be out there, right. none of it. Nothing. Nothing. You, you just simply, that no matter what the evidence does, the conclusion of certain people will always be the same. And um, so the point is, if you really, if there really were no cases, mm -hmm. none at all, rather than just vanishingly rare, then you could say, yeah, super immunity is not a thing. If you've had COVID, you're yeah. done. It's just, um, it's, it just makes it easier. But it's, I mean, it's like, it's like the kids and how at risk they are and, um, and whether or not they need the vaccines. Yeah. Um, yes, there are uh, some children who have died. And any child's death, I think, is a tragedy, actually. Um, but but it's so vanishingly small that the idea that we should be treating five-year-olds the same way we treat 80-year-olds uh, with regard to you know fear of this disease and, and treatment is patently insane. The kids are all right, but we're going to vaccinate them anyway. Yeah, but we're going to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah.